Seven Secrets Issue 1 sees a mountain covered in dead bodies, leftovers from a huge battle as someone says that they have many secrets and they are all tied together. Many die to protect these seven secrets, secrets with the power to change the world. Inside the ancient temple there, a woman is captured by a group of black clad ninjas who are told that they are ignorant, selfish fools as they open a box containing the first secret. Three months prior at the hidden London base of the Order of the Seven, an explosion rocks the foundations as ninjas launch an assault on the Order who fight back to protect the case. A voice says that wars have been fought over these secrets and people fought entire lifetimes to try and get them, but the seven secrets are unobtainable. The case is taken by a woman named Ava, who along with a man named Sigurd rush to the escape route, but Sigurd stays behind to keep the ninjas busy. Ava says that she doesn't want to have to come back and rescue him since he's always embarrassed by that. Ava escapes into the London streets, knocking down two of the black clad men and putting the case on her back, commandeers one of their motorbikes, calling an operator and confirming who she is, telling them that she needs all the traffic lights in the area changed to green between her and Piccadilly. She asks about Sigurd, learning he hasn't left the base yet, so she's put through to him. As 15 years earlier, Ava tells Sigurd she's pregnant with his child. The man isn't too happy about this as the two go to see Tajana, the keeper of the first secret and head of the seven. She isn't happy either, wanting to know who knows about the baby, but she is the first. She tells the couple that they know the rules and there will be a council hearing about it, since there is only only one outcome for the child, however their fate is less than certain. Leaving, Tajana apologises for what's going to happen as the hearing happens and the knight Gareth tells the couple that he does this not to punish but to protect since nothing can compete for the couple's attention and nothing is more sacred than guarding the secrets. Tajana tells him to hold up, saying that both the guardians have given up a lot and deserve happiness so she's giving them a choice most don't get. Sigurd asks if this has happened before and Tajana says the has been around for more than a thousand years, so of course it has happened before. She offers them a chance to walk away from their secret and give up their roles as keepers and holders, and they can start a family. Ava thinks about it for a moment, but Sigurd is quick to say no, since they made a promise, but Tijana reminds him that he also made a baby. After a moment, Ava agrees to continue her duty, so Tijana leaves Gareth to pass his judgement, saying on the day the child is born, they will be taken from the parents by the order and raised by them trained in their secrets. As for Sigurd and Eva, for going against the rules of the Order, their trust has now been eroded. Tajana tells him to stop since they are giving up their child and there is nothing greater they could sacrifice to prove their loyalty. A vote is cast and luckily, the Keepers keep their jobs. Months later, the baby arrives into the world, immediately taken from Eva as Tajana tells Sigurd that he had a little baby boy, wondering if he wants to name him. Sigurd mournfully decides to name his boy Caspar as he goes to see Ava, knowing their relationship has been shattered by this. In the present, Ava is put through to Sigurd, whom she tells about the meeting place, but the man says he can't meet her there as she rushes to the chopper. Despite killing the ninjas, Sigurd is mortally wounded, covered in bullet holes, but Eva insists on rescuing him, but the man demands that she leaves since the priority is the secret. He tells her not to come since the evil Amon is there. She asks if he's out in the open and Sigurd says he is and he can't can't get his hands on the case, so she needs to leave, but he has one shot to take him out. Sigurd tells her about the box in his room in Venice, telling her to give it to Caspar, hoping that she will protect their son, but never tell him the truth. Tearfully, Eva agrees as Sigurd steps up onto the balcony, hoping that she will tell their son that he loved him, even though it wasn't allowed. Sigurd jumps, surprising Amon and stabbing him in the back as he's restrained by ninjas. Amon says that the man was always good at killing asking where his secret is, but the man refuses to reveal where it's gone. Eamon knows that he won't insult Sigurd by torturing him since he knows he won't break and he would feel bad if he did it, but he has everything he needs to know now. Sigurd asks how he found them, learning the order was betrayed by one of their own, but the villain won't say who, saying that that's his secret. Using his scythe, he beheads Sigurd as Caspar says that he was left to others to tell him about his father, but he wishes his father was able to tell him about him. 
himself. Seven Secrets Issue 1 was a fun and intriguing setup to Tom Taylor's new creator-owned series, offering a great look into an interesting world filled with interesting characters and secret organizations. I enjoyed that just enough of the world and its secret orders guarding things was explored and we kind of get an idea of how they operate with room for expansion in the follow-up issues. The villains seem pretty cool and I'm looking forward to the story introducing us properly to Casper as well as whomever his supporting characters will be. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.